Hey guys, it's Doc, and today we're going to talk about uh, soil tests. We're going to talk about soil tests. I'm going to give you two recommendations, and then we're going to talk about the Quick Start program that I really recommend you guys do this year, if at all possible. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, before I start, real quick, I just did a long, long video on biochar and humichar. Uh, it's a kind of a long video, but it's worth a watch and then there's another video from the BBC that I want you to watch And if you watch those two videos, you'll completely understand biochar and humichar. We're going to be using it a lot this year Someone asked a question. Does it replace the humic DG from Anderson's and the answer is, is yes This replaces it because it has it's 50% humic and it's 50% biochar. It's spreadable. It's a wonderful product so yes um, it will be replacing Humic DG. You're going to be using the Humichar now. Mm. Also, don't forget the Bermuda Lawn Guide is available. It's up online, bermudalawnguide.com. You just go over there. I'll put a link in the description below to a web page. I'll have a link to the Bermuda Lawn Guide. I'll have a link to humichar.com. Um, I'll have a link to all the stuff I'm talking about today. And don't forget, click the subscribe button. It's on one of these two over here. Click the subscribe button. And if you want to sign up for our giveaways that we're doing, we give, do giveaways about every month. On that page, you'll see sign up for the email alerts and it just sign up for the email alerts. We do not use that for marketing, by the way. I never send a marketing email. Um, it just alerts you when every time I post, that's it. Okay, so last year I did two soil tests. I did an online soil test and I did UGA and they both were okay. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about the UGA test is that they make you fill out a form for every sample you send in. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was sitting at the kitchen table filling out these forms. And it was just kind of a pain. So UGA, fix that for me, please. Uh, this year, I'm going with Clemson. Clemson is, was my winner for the easiest and best soil test this year. Clemson University. Plus, there is an online soil test that you can do through Amazon where they send you the full thing, package, envelope, mailing envelope, everything. So I'll list below on that page. I'll put links to both of these. Um, if you're going to do Clemson, I recommend you get your soil test bags. This is a pack of 25. They cost nothing. Uh, they're little soil test bags. They're, they're lined and you can save them and use them for the next couple of years. Put them in a closet somewhere. These are great because that's about, you need about a cup of material inside this bag. <clears throat> that's what they want. They want about a cup of dry material. So let it dry out on a paper plate all by itself each sample for a good 24, 48 hours, then put it in the bags, mark your bags. So let me tell you how this soil test works. It's a one page form, which is wonderful. And all you're gonna do is you fill out your information. Uh, you skip this column, this is for the lab. You put your sample number, and that's a number you make up. So I put doc front, doc back, doc grassy knoll, barb, world's worst, I just put that on there. And then you match that up with what you write on the bag. So take your time. So write that on the bag as well too. And then all you have to do is just check the standard box and you basically get the results. Six dollars per sample, send it off to them and in about, mine took about six days. I was surprised. I would say six to ten days now. They're probably gonna start to get busy, especially after I do this video. And then you're gonna get an email and the email will link to your reports. So for every sample I sent, I got a page. Oh, sorry, they blew all over the place here just a minute ago. Kind of windy up. So basically, I got a report for each sample. So there's barbs, dot back, world's worst lawn. And just as I expected, I got the results that I expected. Here's what I want you to understand about soil tests. Don't read into them too much. Don't say, oh, my magnesium is a little bit high. Stop. Stop that. All I really care about is the three main nutrients. I really care about your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your potassium. You're going to look for really high spikes or really low deficiencies. Everything else we're going to be taking care of with PGF Complete this year, it's a balanced fertilizer. So when we put out PGF Complete, and if you're going to spray Super Juice, the same thing, it's a 4-1-2 ratio. You're going to be taking care of the lawn's needs. Don't worry about it. Again, the only thing I'm looking for is I'm looking for really low deficiencies or really high spikes. So, as expected, I don't know why, but this neighborhood <laughs> or this area has a phosphorus deficiency. And so every single one, phosphorus, look at that. Look how low that is. Phosphorus is dead low. Phosphorus, dead low. Let's see here. 
Look at that world's worst. Look at that phosphorus level. That is really low. So the only thing I really have to do in my jumpstart program, which is really kind of a soil correction preparedness program, is I have to find something with a little bit more phosphorus. Now, if you're not going to do a soil test, that's fine. Then just go straight to a 10-10-10. It's the same thing I talked about last year. Is this early preparation where we're not fertilizing our lawn. I want you to understand that. We are not fertilizing our lawn. What we are doing is, is we're putting a small amount of nutrients all over our soil. We're fixing our soil. And so that come six weeks from now, when we start to get a green up, the green up happens in an environment where we have a small amount of nutrients already and we don't have to worry about let's get the fertilizer let's get the fertilizer it's already be going to be waking up into a healthy environment i hope that makes sense that's all we're doing we're not fertilizing our lawns so i'll take you in the garage in a minute and unfortunately if you can i just run to lowe's or home depot 10 10 10 garden soil 13 13 13 whatever you want that kind of ratio uh, it's cheap. It's like $12 a bag. It's almost impossible at the big box stores to find high phosphorus stuff. So you can't find a 10 30 10. <laughs> you can't find a 0 20 0. It's impossible. And you don't want to be, you know, ordering this stuff online really because it's going to be, you're going to need a lot of it and it's going to be, the, the shipping is going to kill you. So I went to Lowe's and I found a starter fertilizer from Stay Green, that's like an 18-24-6. And I said, you know what, that's a better ratio, but man, that crap's expensive. With tax, it was $53 a bag, and I'll show you in here. So I was like, oh, I really don't want to spend that on all these lawns, but I went ahead and bit the bullet. So all we're doing now is we're gonna do a soil test. If you don't do one, that's fine. If you don't do one, do one, just put out 10-10-10. If you do one and you need an adjustment, make an adjustment now, now is the time to do that. Now we're going to be putting down humichar. I just did that long video about biochar and talking about humichar and why it's so was such a wonderful product. So we're going to be putting down humichar starting now, and we're going to put down this 10-10-10. So you can order humichar late February, put it out, put out a little bit of 10-10-10, and that's the jumpstart program. Again, your lawn will wake up into a good environment. That's what we're doing. You know, it's funny, I didn't, this is a, a soil sample test, it's a soil probe. I didn't think that I'd really need to order this, and I was kind of like, do I really want to order one? And I'll tell you what, I'm really glad I ordered this thing, because every year I come out here and it makes my life so easy, because all I'm going to do is I just stick it into the ground, give it one twist, pull it out, and now I got my soil sample, because this is what you want. Okay, so here's my thatch layer up here. And what I want to do is I want to come below that thatch layer in dark soil and I want to kind of take that away. And now what I want is I want about the three inches that are right in here. That's the soil that I want to test, right there. That three inch mark. And I'm going to pull that plug out, put it aside, and then I'm going to go through the area and I'm going to go here, zigzag, and I'm going to pull several until I get about, oh, three quarters of a cup of material, a cup of material. I put it inside these bags and I left the bags open and I let them sit there for two days to dry out and then I sent it off. So mark your bags, put your soil in there, leave the bag open and just let it dry out. So that's what you wanna do, that's the level you want. If you don't have a soil probe, I'll link to this in the on that page below. Um, you can just use a trowel, just dig up, but you don't want that top, you don't want that top thatch layer of vegetation and rocks and stuff, you don't want that. Oh, and by the way, here's a surprise for you that's coming up. I think I already talked about this. This is the new McLean I ordered. It's been sitting in my garage for three weeks now, but this is the Greenskeeper model. It's the 10 blade, 25 inch. I'll be putting this together um, in a couple of weeks, show doing a video on this one. So now I'll have two of them because that's pretty much all I'm gonna use. I'm just switching over to McLean's. They're so much easier to use. So I'll do a video on that. So I went to Lowe's, and if you can find this at Lowe's, if you have a potass, if you have a phosphorus deficiency, you can get this. Now maybe you can find um, a 10 20 10 or 20, 10 30 10. Check around and see if you, because we just want cheap fertilizer. That's all we want. But this is a Stay Green brand 
and it's actually a starter and it's an 18246. Now the nitrogen is a slow release. These other two are not necessarily a slow release, so that's why I got this. I'm going to put this out at about half rate. So do the math on that. So what am I going to be? I'm going to be at 9123. That's just my quick start. Again, I don't recommend spending that kind of money on a quick start fertilizer. Just go buy some cheap 101010. Put out a light coat of 101010 and when the humichar becomes available, put out your first coat of humichar anytime. Again, if you didn't watch the humichar video, humichar is just to make your soil better. It has humic acid and biochar. Um, we're going to be putting, I'm going to be putting it out every single month. I'm going to be doing an application on all the lawns this year. Okay guys, so don't forget, in the description below, I'm going to link to a bunch of stuff. I'm going to link to the Bermuda Lawn Guide. I'm going to link to the Humichar website so you can read up on that information. I'll link to the pre-emergence, the granular and the liquid. I'll link to the soil test pages that you can print. I'll link to the soil probe. So I'll link to all that stuff so it's all in one place for you. Don't forget, you can check, you can go online and you can check your soil map. Maybe I'll even put a, I'll put a, maybe a, see if I can find a temperature map where I can show you when your pre-emergent should be put down. And maybe I'll put that on there too. If you need a calendar, the Bermuda grass calendar uh, is at the end of the Bermuda Lawn Guide. So if you go to BermudaLawnGuide.com, at the end of the guide, you'll actually see the calendar. The calendar is there and you can print it off and you can put it up on your wall. It's just a reminder of what we're gonna do. Again, this year, we're gonna be putting down, I'm gonna be putting down humichar almost every single month because humichar is a permanent treatment. Once it gets in your soil, it's there perfectly. So the first year, we're gonna be treating and treating and treating. Second year, we're gonna be treating not as much. And then after that, we're done. We don't have to put down any more humichar. And really, all we'll have to do I'm going to, in about two or three weeks, I'm going to do a video about a new organic matter that I found that you can put on your lawn that you can basically eat too. That's pet safe, kid safe. It's just pure organic matter and it's dirt cheap. It's like 13 or 14 bucks a bag and it's for a 50 pound bag. And that, my friends, that combination, putting down the human char, the organic matter, and light PGF complete, you will have an absolutely gorgeous lawn. And that's what we've been testing over there, having great results. Click the subscribe button, uh, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Back.